டிவன் வெல்கம் டு பார்ட் எயிட் மொடியூல் சிக்ஸ் டேட்டா கம்யூனிகேஷன் ஸோ வி ஸ்டார்டட் அவர் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் பேக்கெட் சுவிச்சிங் அண்டு ஆஃப்டர் ஃபினிஷிங் த கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் சர்க்கியூட் சுவிச்சிங் ஸோ இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் தி பேக்கெட் சுவிச்சிங் கான்செப்ட் இஃப் எ ஸ்டேஷன் ஹேஸ் எ மெசேஜ் டு சென்ட் த்ரூ எ பேக்கெட் சுவிச்சிங் நெட்ஒர்க் தட் இஸ் ஆஃப் லெங்க் கிரேட்டர் தேன் த மேக்ஸிமம் பேக்கெட் சைஸ் இட் இட் வில் பி பிரேக்கிங் தட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஐ மீன் த ஹால் மெசேஜ் அப் இன் டு பேக்கெட்ஸ் அண்ட் சென்ஸ் திஸ் பேக்கெட்ஸ் ஒன் அட் எ டைம் டு த நெட்ஒர்க் Uh, now a question arises as to how the network will handle this stream of packets as it attempts to route them through the network and deliver them to the intended destination now the information is being divided into different packets and with each packet you you will be attaching that control information that header everything and it will be uh, sent through the network now in the network the intermediate switching nodes or uh, routers whatever it is how they are going to handle these packets and uh, they are uh, efficiently uh, taking them to the correct receiver because same information information is now being sent through different uh, routes right uh, so it may be sent to different route or same route uh, depending on uh, two uh, contemporary uh, i mean net means approaches like uh, data gram approach and virtual circuit approach as i already told you the purest form of packet switching where the information being divided into packets and the store and forward approach along with the, uh, that different route for different packets that purest form is actually data gram approach when it comes to virtual circuit approach you can see that uh, virtually there is a circuit okay but it is not like the physical circuit concept that we already seen in circuit switching okay so it's actually a combination of datagram approach and the circuit switching together uh, with uh, that packet packetizing everything so that is what we call as virtual circuit and we will see these two approaches in detail uh, now so first if you are looking at the uh, datagram circuit uh, you can uh, see what uh, with an example just like here this machine is uh, trying to send an information and the information is being divided into three packets packet 1 2 3 now what happened it it will send uh, to this particular nearby uh, switch uh, switching node now this switching node uh, taken this information and what it done is uh, it chooses this particular path right now when it comes over here the packet 1 and 2 were transmitted over this particular path by this switch okay but see at the at this time one and two are getting processed and three is just arriving only otherwise in non circuit switching case the entire thing will be processed together and they will be taking a dedicated predefined path but this is different so just try to compare with the other approach now uh, the switch now determines uh, this particular route for packet 3 that means now 1 uh, 2 uh, and 3 gets splitted at this point right that 1 uh, and 2 are taking this path 3 is taking this path so that is the idea this is a purest form of packet switching where the packets may take different different routes and that is what we call as a uh, datagram approach and uh, now 3 is taking this path and 1 is coming through and finally at this point 1 and 2 uh, means in this time they shown some uh, delay different and finally here uh, their delay uh, matched may, maybe because of uh, the queue delay at this particular intermediate node and then this 1 2 are coming through this and 3 is just uh, transmitted over this path this path and finally 3 is coming like this so in this way generally what you have to understand from this is um, once you send that information you don't have any control over it different packets will be taking different different routes and finally uh, everything will be reaching at the uh, receiver receiver particularly uh, this uh, node um, exit node that is being connected to the actual terminal machine and at this point all these three packets accumulated and they will be uh, transmitted as a single message to the actual destination so this uh, ordering of the packets like one uh, so now three is actually reached first that is another thing you have to note down the, the actually original information only supposed to reach first because of the route taken by one actually three the route taken by three may be traffic less so three reached first but still it is up to the uh, this particular node the one who is connected to the receiver it is up to the uh, this particular node to uh, order the information and in in the correct order it is to be delivered to the actual receiver uh, sometimes this uh, uh, reordering of the information and uh, everything will be given up to the receiver or sometimes it will be uh, done by the exit node and then it will uh, after reordering it will correctly send it to the receiver so this is idea okay so in the packets being divided into i mean they may be following different different uh, routes simply 
now if you are looking at virtual circuit concept it is not like that uh, just like a circuit switching uh, a dedicated predefined circuit will be there and all these packets will be uh, following this uh, particular circuit now the thing is that uh, when this circuit is being established okay so normally what is happening is uh, out of this uh, one two three three packets the first packet will be uh, when the first packet is entering into network um, it don't know the route because it is uh, supposed to explore the route right so this will uh, explore the route and each switches will process it and finally it will identify a route to the um, destination now what will happen for the subsequent packets of the same message they will all follow the same route that is being uh, followed by one now uh, how it is achieved because when the very first packet is being forwarded every switching uh, node on the way will dedicate some resources for the subsequent communication so it will inform to others that uh, some more packets uh, just like my friends are coming you please give some um, special consideration for them i de dedicate some resources for them uh, because all uh, some this many packets are also part of me so normally we call it as uh, something called a virtual circuit identifier so this is a virtual circuit and this is being established by the very first packet packet by following the datagram approach okay so for the first packet there is no predefined circuit it will just follow the datagram approach uh, simply store and forward at each switch it will identify a path and uh, additionally it will uh, create a virtual circuit also and uh, uh, this virtual circuit identifier will be there in the control information of each and every packet so whenever the, uh, the subsequent parts are coming at each router by looking at the virtual circuit identifier it will choose the uh, corresponding outgoing link and uh, in effect we will get this same feel as that of circuit switching in packet uh, um, in the packet switching um, concept so that is what we call as the uh, virtual circuit concept so thing is that how it is different from circuit switching is here we have the concept of packetizing in circuit switching there is no concept of packetizing simply the information will be sent as a single one and uh, that is one difference and another thing is mm, means this uh, creation of the circuit can be done during the setup phase just like what happened in the circuit switching or on demand this can be allowed also so we have a flexibility uh, to switch over a uh, datagram or circuit switching like that but anyway all of them will be following the same path and finally it will be delivered to the uh, receiver okay so it's a kind of packet switching datagram or packetizing concept plus circuit establishment together is happening so definitely uh, you know if you are looking at this packet switching concept different packets will be getting different delay like uh, this th third packet is supposed to reach last but it is reaching early because it is taking some different route so that is one difficulty we have so we need to do this reordering of information at the receiver end but here there is no such issue because uh, everybody is following the same route and that sequencing is there no re further reordering uh, reordering algorithm is to be run at the receiver side simply they will come in order and it can be delivered and now here as a everybody is taking different different routes uh, the chances are there this three alone may be discarded on the way uh, maybe due to some network failure or due to some other reason three alone is discarded now uh, when one and two reached uh, out of the uh, the whole message one significant proportion of the message is missing now now it is up to the receiver uh, to handle uh, the both uh, first if there is any uh, problem with a particular uh, packet it is to be identified first uh, one packet is missing that is to be identified first once it is identified what is to be done whether all the packets uh, together is are to be retransmitted or that missing packet alone is to be retransmitted all those decision making are uh, needed and that will be up to the receiver and here also same problem may be there as it is packet uh, switching um, you can't uh, ensure that all packets of the same messages are received in order and correctly at the receiver some of them may be lost on the way so how it is being handled at the receiver is up to the receiver machine so this is a general scenario now we will see some uh, the same concept in uh, upcoming slides so uh, let's start our discussion with datagram approach like what we already seen in the purest form of packet switching so in the datagram approach each packet is treated independently right a one uh, packet 3 is following one route uh, one and two followed another route like just like that with no reference to the packets that have gone before so nobody is following anyone else simply anyone can go uh, through any route they are ha all handled independently now this approach is illustrated in the figure which shows a time sequence of snapshots of the progress of three packets through the network that, that is what you see now each node chooses the next node 
on a package bus. So whenever a particular package is receiving at a particular intermediate node, it has to identify an outgoing link for it, right? Taking into account the information received from the neighboring nodes on about traffic and the line failures, etc. So when uh, a node is uh, getting a packet, a number of outgoing links will be there. And out of this outgoing link, which is to be taken, that depends on uh, the traffic on that particular uh, route chosen. The, on the way, some failures may be there. And those information will be received by the switch uh, on the way I do by some other mechanism and accordingly it will take a wise decision and it will uh, send the information. So the packets each with the same destination address do not all follow the same route. That is the main thing. They will be following different uh, communication path and they may arrive out of sequence at the uh, receiver. Okay. So now it is up to the receiver to uh, keep them in order and to be delivered at the receiver. Uh, end point. In this example, the exit node restores the packet so that reordering is done at the exit node uh, to their original order before delivering them to the actual destination now in some data graph network it is up to the destination machine rather than the exit node to do the re reordering it can be done by the re exit node or at the actual uh, destination itself that uh, that is um, different for different uh, networks also it is possible for a packet to be destroyed on the, uh, on the way right so for example if packet switching node crashes uh, momentarily uh, all of its queued packets uh, will be lost right so again it is up to either the exit node or the destination node to detect the loss of a packet first it is how to identify that some packets is missing and to decide if it is missing how to recover it okay so all those things are up to the receiver so in this uh, technique each packet treated independently is referred to as a datagram and the whole process is called datagram switching so uh, you got an idea this is uh, just the purest form of packet switching that we explained is what is datagram switching the main thing is the packets are following in indi treated independently and they follow different different path but in circuit virtual circuit it is not the case okay that that we will see in the next part thank you